I'm the a-hole for refusing to pay for my stepdaughter's wedding because her real daddy is the one that's going to walk her down the aisle. So let me tell you guys about my stepdaughter, all right? She wants her real daddy to walk her down the aisle. Now let me give you a little backstory on, my, on me and my stepdaughter. She just graduated from university, which I paid for. Now, she went to an in-state university, but it still cost me about $40,000. Now, I also bought her a car. I bought her a car straight after high school. That way she could go back and forth to school. I bought her a car. She still lives with me and her mother. She does not have a job. Now, she's set to be married on August the 8th. And for the past six months, that's all her and her mother been talking about doing. Being occupied with, being consumed most of the time. Now, her daddy, he don't contribute to not one cent on her. Not her education, not her, not child support, which is partly her mother's fault because, you know, she didn't fight for that. And that I guess that's just what the settlement was. And... He only around to make promises. I do that for you. I do this for you and then take off. And then she'd be heartbroken. But she adores her father. Right. So, like I said, she said to be married in August and the wedding venue. I told him they could have in my home. The wedding venue can hold about 250 people. Right. Now, I said, hey, I got a list of 20 people, 20 people that I want to come to the wedding. I'm paying for this at my house. I want these 20 people to come. Do y'all know Saturday, I see one of my friends at the golf course, right? He's supposed to come to the wedding. I'm like, hey, I'm going to see you at the wedding, right? He said, I only got an announcement. I didn't get an invite. I'm like, nah. I let my girlfriend and, and stepdaughter know to send out the invitations on these few people. And, and you're supposed to get an invite. He said, I got something, but it was an announcement. So we walked to his car because I want to check, right? And sure enough, it was an announcement. So I went and talked to my, to my, uh, my girlfriend and said, did you invite those 20 people to the wedding that I, that I told you about? Man, she didn't invite none of them. She said 250 people is a little tight, and I don't think we can get your 20 people in there. Man, I was pissed. <clears throat> and the people that, that were supposed to come, they pissed as well. Then she's going to say if any of the people that we already invited don't RSVP, then we'll get some of your people in here. I'm like, what? Man, that's crazy, man. Don't even worry about it, man. I'll just be mad. All right? So now, the crazy part about it is when I check the invitations, they don't even have my name on them. They have her real daddy and her on the invitation that I paid for. I paid for these invitations. How you got a real daddy on there, her mama on there? Cool. Couple days later, I'm hosting. Hosting the venue at my house. Host, hosting the wedding family at my house, okay? It's me, stepdaughter, a girlfriend, groom, and their parents, right? Trying to help everybody get real acquainted. Then a surprise guest shows up. My stepdaughter's real daddy. And I'm like, you know what? You know what? Cool. He probably just coming to the wedding. Right. But tell me why my stepdaughter proceeds to stand up and announce that her real daddy is giving her away at the wedding. What? The wedding that I'm paying for the, in my house, the daddy don't do nothing for you. It's giving you away. Oh, and they were just so happy and smelling. Oh, yay. Great. Inside, I was fuming inside. I wanted to cry or punch somebody. Probably want to do both, honestly. So. I took that time to stand up and give my give a toast as well. I said, you know, I owe the groom and the bride a deep debt of gratitude because they have opened my eyes tonight. Oh, everybody at the table was just smiling. They have let me know that my position in this family is not what I thought it was. Oh, you should have saw the frowns, man. Now they mad. It done got serious. I let them know I am not the godfather or, you know, the head of the family that I thought I was, the loved one that would be seeked out in times of need. Nah. I realize I'm an ATM. Yeah. So since I have been replaced as host as the other wedding, I shall be relinquishing, giving my financial duties to the new host. And I will back out monetarily. Yeah. Yep. Now, after the announcement, a whole lot of snickering was going on around the table, right? A lot of mumbling, but they didn't say anything to me. Nobody addressed me now. Now, later that night, tell me why my girlfriend going to come to me talking about some how I'm ruining so much, how, how I'm ruining so much for backing out and how her daughter ain't going to have her, 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 her dream wedding and how her daughter ain't this and that. OK, well, it's apparent that I'm not family in this family. So the family should take care of it, right? That's my stepdaughter. I mean, it ain't even my stepdaughter, really. It's my girlfriend, 
Uh, I just happened to be a runner for the last 10 years. But tell me why the next day, my girlfriend trying to show me uh, how much I'm ruined, right? She takes me to where they plan on the wedding and the wedding planner showed me, uh, you know, all the, all the things they got going down, everything they got set up. I look at the venue. They got some father daughter dances, right? Three songs. All of them cater to her real dad, not me. I looked at the food, the food they got. Two of the dishes got stuff I'm allergic to in it. I just started laughing. Like, <laughs> they want me to pay for this. His name on it, not mine. His songs, not mine. The food, I can't eat the food. And the 20 people out of 250 that I want, they can't even come in, in my house. Wow. Okay. It's wild, man. So I went on ahead and let her know. I will not be there and neither will my money. Yeah. And they will no longer be at my house either. And you will no longer be at my house or your daughter. Cause yeah, I'm not family. I'm not even important enough to be uh, put, put up on the brochure. It's crazy, man. Yeah.